How often have you had to go through someone to get to someone else? When you call your doctor for an appointment, do you speak directly to him? Of course not. The office manager answers the phone and puts you on the schedule. Have you ever tried to call your congressman? Someone in his office will take down your concerns or compliments and pass them along. Trying to get a job? You don't speak with the boss, but rather the human resources person. Then he relays whatever he thinks is necessary. In the Old Testament, this is how things used to be with God. In 2 Kings chapter 3, three rulers joined together to go to war against a common enemy. During their pursuit, they ran out of water for their men and animals, so they began to question whether God had sent them and if he would give them victory. In 2 Kings 3.11, Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, asked, Is there no prophet of the Lord here that we may inquire of the Lord through him? They could not speak to or hear from God directly, only through a prophet, so they consulted Elisha. God spoke through him to tell these kings what they needed to do to get water and assure them that the Lord was with them and they would be successful. Once Jesus paid the price for our sin, a direct line was open between us and God. 1 Timothy 2, 5 and 6 puts it this way, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all men. Now we can speak to our Heavenly Father without the aid of a human go-between, because Jesus is our intercessor. What a blessing to know that we have a direct connection to the Almighty and that He speaks directly to our hearts.